Hello, welcome to another episode of Chaotic Torture RC. It's been a while since I've sat down at the desk to do anything. I've been doing a lot of uh, Tech Tip Sunday videos lately and doing a majority of it outside before the season changes. Uh, but today I'm going to do a little review and talk about the uh, RC four wheel drive 18th uh, scale D90. Um, I had high hopes for this when I purchased it. I like the mini trucks, the uh, capabilities of building indoor tracks with them and everything have has always appealed to me. I run the uh, 124 scale trail checkers, which I'll get to that here in a minute because I'm going to use one as a size comparison. A uh, few things I was, I was kind of a little disappointed on because I've had 18th scale Losies, and this is much smaller than the 18th scale Losies. Uh, this is a 24th scale Losie trail checker and to compare them side by side you can see a uh, bit of difference it's just taller they're about the same really so there's no difference um, chassis are different transmissions but as far as size this is 24th scale this is 18th scale I can take this body put it on this chassis and it fits without adjusting this wheelbase Anyways, I'm going to set this aside right now because this isn't about the trail tracker, it's about the uh, RC four-wheel drive D90. Upon receiving the truck, I charged the battery, ran it. Uh, I read some reviews where they said the motor is way underpowered for the stock motor. Very true. Uh, way underpowered. Um, it, to go down straight away, it's fine to try to climb something it does not have the torque does not have the power uh, roughly 15 minutes or so into my first running the ESC smoked out on me uh, I saw various colors of smoke coming out from underneath the truck ESC no longer works battery still good servo still good luckily go back to this I like this truck so much I had a few of them so for now I pulled a receiver, which is also the uh, speed control, out of one of my spare tra uh, trail trackers to run in this. I have emailed RC Four Wheel Drive about it, uh, confirmed with them, showed them a copy of my purchase receipt because I'm well under the warranty. They were getting back with me really good at first, and then uh, I've not heard nothing back for. Uh, probably about five days now. I was told that they will get with the manufacturer of the speed control. They don't sell it individually, so they don't have none of them, but they did let me know that when they uh, got one from the manufacturer that they would send me one. Um, when they do, I'll let you guys know, but for the time being, I'm just going to continue using the uh, trail checker speed control from Losi. Um, that enables me to be able to um, use my Spectrum radio, which is nice. I don't have to carry an extra radio. The truck comes with this little radio kind of toyish feeling some people said they've liked it I honestly didn't like it but I would like to have my uh, speed control in for it and use you know it, it would be nice if I wanted to take this some more smaller setup to pack and take places but anyways for the time being I will stay with what I have but to address the motor issue it just did not have enough power um, I wasn't happy with it I did some research and I found where some people were uh, running a uh, dual motor mount with uh, two D20 motors. And I'm saying to myself, well, what's a D20 motor? I looked them up, and basically it is a, uh, they're each a 12-volt motor. So they will handle a little bit of power. Let me get them out of the package. I just ordered them this week. Um... I will zoom in and show you all. And this video is going to be done in a couple different videos just for the fact that I have a. I'm going to show you all how I mount everything up. If you look at that, in the brass sections, there's actually sets of gears. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit closer. It is like its own gear reduction unit all metal gears in there but the only thing is it's it's got the flat spot on the shaft the only downfall to it is it doesn't have a hole for your uh, set screw to go through 
um, and your transmission that's a stock transmission won't use just one this is this won't mount into the stock transmission and it won't hold a uh, pinion gear that fit these here's where another part comes in like I said the reviews and stuff that I looked into talked about dual motor mount I purchased this off of a eBayer um, goes under the, his eBay name is Club RC. Let me double check. Club RC 15, I think. No, my bad. Just Club RC is his uh, username. Uh, the 15 was how many sales he had. I've looked. I looked around. There's a few different sellers that uh, sold a dual motor mount for these. This one I happened to get it was made out of aluminum. Uh, it's machined and made very nice. It comes with grub screws. Came with the uh, screws for mounting the motors and they also send, I'm not sure the millimeter without looking at it, but they send a threaded tap. So what you do is on your shafts off of your defender they have a they have like a, a rubber band over them with a pin that goes through. The band holds the pin in. Well, on one side of your shaft, you thread it with this. Then you use one of the provided uh, set screws to go into the that so it meshes with the flat part of your shaft. Now the reason that this is a dual motor setup is you're going to have one motor go in. Let me zoom in. You'll have one motor go in there and you mount it. The other motor goes in from that side and you mount it. And what happens is each drive shaft gets its own independent motor. Now with this having the gear reduction, it will give it much more torque, more scale trailing and crawling capability. It will not struggle and strain under the power. These motors can handle 12 volts each. Uh, the speed control that I'm using, I don't know about the RC four wheel drive one, but I'd, I know the speed control that I have in this now specifically will only handle the 7.4 LiPo. Um, but you wire these into, um, you can run jumper from motor to motor and then run one to your speed control or however you want to do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run positive, negative, positive, negative, and then from one motor straight to the speed control. That way it's a cleaner setup. Um, let me zoom out and I will uh, pull the body off this. As far as the scale and the appearance of this, the truck is awesome. The body is very highly detailed. Um, it bolts on with two screws in the front, two screws in the back. I don't need to show you all that because there's a few videos already out there like that. Um, my current setup with the low C speed control in the front until I get a new one back. It's got the metal shock hoops in the rear, metal four link, metal shafts, the scale transmission right there. Um, I switched motors out to run after the speed control went bad I uh, popped this motor in it this was out of the trail trekker as well it made a big difference but gearing wise this motor was getting hot with the uh, trail trekker uh, pinion gear so I just quit running it until I got this in um, I did go ahead because I out of curiosity if you look at the front it's got the pumpkin just like your Toyota axles have. I went ahead and pulled the cover off the rear to show you all that it does have nice metal gears inside the uh, axles of this. So it is really truly just a scaled down replica of the 10th scale for this truck. 
It's got miniature wagon wheel true bead locks. Um, internal spring shocks for the suspension with the aluminum shock hoops. The chassis is aluminum. I'm going to assume that the links are. Got your uh, lower links there. Upper links are going to be kind of harder to see, but they're back there. But anyways, other than having the issue with the speed control that I had when I first got this, and the fact that the motor itself was way underpowered, for the price of it, yeah, it's still worth it because these upgrades were cheap. Um, this, the uh, like I said, Club RC sells this aluminum housing, and it's already got the uh, holes pre-drilled into the side for mounting there. Um, Price-wise on this, I'm not going to quote a price on here because it may vary from the time that this video airs, uh, but it was cheap for what it was. Uh, the motors... I got these from a U.S. seller. It was two motors for nine dollars shipped. Um, you can order from overseas if you don't mind waiting six weeks, or sometimes it takes out, sometimes it doesn't. You can get them for as cheap as two to three dollars each shipped. Um, I will probably go ahead and order more to keep spares, just because the videos that I've I don't know how long these motors will last. I would assume a pretty good while because they're reduced and such, and I'm not running the amount of voltage that they can handle. But the videos that I've seen with them running have been very nice, very impressive. Uh, so I probably would have done the uh, mod regardless if it needed or not, because uh, individual power going to each mode to each uh, axle is a win-win situation in my opinion. Uh, will it affect run times? I don't know. Um, a lot of times when you're running dual motors, it will. But like I said, being a reduction unit, it may not use as much. Um, I never got to run a full battery through it to begin with, so I don't know what runtime is. Um, and I think for now, I'm going to stop on this video. Um, I'm going to do this in a series, that way you all can watch me set this up, because I, I've seen videos with them showing the dual motor mount in there. I've seen videos with them showing it running, but I've not seen any videos yet of the actual installation the setup, the soldering and stuff, and that's what I intend to do for my viewers. Um, I do know that there is a seller in the UK that makes a similar mount that is uh, 3D printed, so it's plastic, so you do have a few different options. Uh, the aluminum, the plastic one was the same price as the aluminum when I looked into it. It was just going to take longer to come to me because it was from the UK that I saw. Uh, when you all do a search, if you decide to, you may find some from U.S. sellers at that point. Uh, 3D printing is becoming a very popular thing, and a lot of people are making some parts. Um, but the build quality of the aluminum one here seems very nice, and I figured since everything else is aluminum on this, I want to try to keep it all aluminum. Um, kind of bummed that you know I got to pull out this whole scale-looking, it's somewhat scaled-looking transmission and stuff, but it is what it is, and. Uh, when I'm done, I'll be satisfied with it. I, I took another uh, micro crawler that I did, and I uh, put a gear reduction motor in it, and it made a world of difference. wasn't super fast, but when you got something this small, you don't want it super fast. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, I've got more things in the works. I plan on doing more videos here with you all. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Like I said, this is part one of... Uh, I'm going to try to have it done in at least a three-part series. Um, because, like I said, I want to do the actual assembly on camera for you guys. And then, once I get that done, of course, we got to show you all a running video. Um, sadly, I didn't get a chance to record any running video before doing all this. Like I said, the... Uh, stock speed control fry it on me I've got it right here it's just a uh, little unit like this and that's where your servo would plug in uh, really looking forward to it hoping to get a new one as that's what I was told I will have um, so 
Thank you all for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, if you haven't yet, I've got a Facebook page, uh, Chaotic Torture RC. Check it out. Uh, I post some stuff on there, uh, some pictures and updates of current projects. I just recently started an Instagram. I believe the information is on my uh, page. If not, I will update it on here soon. I'm slowly getting into uh, doing better video editing and trying to set things up better and be more organized for my videos. Um, my main goal is to uh, put a good quality video for you guys to see and to help my channel grow, to make it worth me doing for you all. And On that note, I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching.